well it's a cold and wet rainy day so i figured i'd try to film a little bit about our outdoor wood bowler i guess is what you want to call it um show you guys the one that we use and how we do it so um just stick around here for a few minutes let me see see how the girls are doing in a little chicken coop we got it tarped so they can somewhat stay dry all right so uh as you can see we don't handle the wood as i mentioned it earlier we uh we just pull it in here with the tractor and then we just feed it right out of here so this is the model we got we got a crown royal stove 74 e 7400e which is the um epa certified stove and uh we're heating the house let's see it's roughly 1900 square feet in the basement and um 3000 square feet of living space and of course most of the basement's finished so it's almost 5000 square feet of house that we're we're actually heating and then we're also heating um our shop which is and it's insulated as well um it's 30 six by 50 if i'm not mistaken it's been a long time since we've built it so i can't remember right off but it, it's real tall um, the garage doors on the front of it are 13 foot six inches so we can park the rv in there um but so that's what we're heating plus all of our hot water heater um i'll actually walk through this before i actually turn this thing on um right now here's the actual switch for it where it has all the controls and everything and anytime you want to actually turn turn it on um you can actually hit this when you're loading that way smoke doesn't come out the door really bad um has a little light for loading um which is nice of course we have electrical out here where it's sitting so it's not too bad we only ever use that um a little bit of how i actually plumb this up basically i've got two circulator pumps one going to the house these lines are going to the house um and this is going to the building um i think that's right um and i actually crisscrossed them so basically you want your um feed line coming out the bottom your return line at the top which you know they they tell you that um it's labeled when you go to install it cut off valves on everything one thing i did do different on this install than i did on the previous one is i put these um these valves in so that like if the water was to potentially drop to a certain level i can't remember if these were 145 145 degree it basically would take some of the water instead of sending it to the house it sends it back to the boiler um, i put that on both of them that actually protects the boiler so um, let me uh turn it on and it may get a little loud i'll try to talk um if not i'll cut over and do a voiceover if it gets too loud um but that's the outside of it show you a little bit well while it's not running let me open it up and i'll show you the chambers and we come in here these are the shakers so these are all the tubes um as far as this epa stove and you basically work those shakers with a handle up front gets all the fly ash and everything and then every so often we'll come through here and vacuum this out um there's not a lot i mean honestly it, it doesn't accumulate a lot so i don't know once a month or something we might come in here and do it and of course the fan let me uh shut this back up and lock it and i'll see if i can get this started let it run for a minute and that way you can actually see see it going Yeah, I've got it set on 175 right now, um, and it's at 168, so that's why it's not running. So um, let me go ahead and just hit that load switch and get it going for a minute, so it doesn't smoke every smoke us all out. Um, and I will try to show you a little bit on this bottom portion of how the fire actually burns down through a, a nozzle and it's kind of like a forge 
So. Oh, we do need to add a little bit more wood. Um, but you can see, actually, it's actually a, a really good thing because you can see the nozzle down here now. Um, when it's burning. See that little slat hole right underneath the fire? So the fan basically pulls the, the fire down into this fire chamber uh, below. And let me show you what that kind of looks like. See if I can get a picture of this. Ah, so you can see the fire coming through. It's getting the air from down here, which is why when it burns down and around and then goes up into those uh heat chamber and so this bottom portion actually burns a significant amount of the smoke and you can see what's come out the top it's really steam it's not really smoke i mean it, it burns a lot of the, the smoke up so and that's why it's an epa stove um and that's pretty much it um the back of that unit you open it up to help clean some of the ash out when we vacuum out we do it but uh like i said that's the fan that creates the draft um and pulls pulls it down through that um high temperature uh cement mix keeps everything really hot in that bottom section so that it can actually burn the smoke up so but anyway that's our that's our board. That's how we've uh, heated the house. I think we've had this unit for about three years now, and uh, it's been uh, it's been good. I uh, definitely I don't think I would change anything if I had it to buy over again. I would buy it. Of course, I'm sure they're a whole lot more expensive now than they were when I bought this. Um, and the lines, you know, we dug that on our our first one, but we go around around the to the house and over here and uh, I actually use that uh, log store pipe um, which I think is out of uh, out of Europe um, is actually the log is what the um, lines that I actually used uh, when I installed this so um, but that's how we heat our house and if you got any questions feel free to ask you know I, I can't really tell you how much wood we burn I know that's a big thing on this um, we just fill these boxes up and since we have plenty of wood we just we just burn it i just stay warm i don't really worry about it um if i had to guess you know we probably go through i don't know maybe 12 to 14 of these boxes um you know these crate things uh, a year um we got some really cold weather coming it's supposed to get well depends on where you're from here in north carolina it's really cold weather um, up north it's not that cold but um, I think we're getting 14 degree uh, temperatures down here in, in the teens and then also um, even single digits so I'm actually getting ready to go right now I got to go prepare all the waters for the cows make sure that uh, they don't freeze up we got Richie so I just got to put some some water in the channel to make sure the lid actually freezes when it gets cold um, so I got to run and do that and uh, Make sure everything's fed and good, and um, then I can actually go in and be warm. So, And that concludes this video on our Crown Royal 7400E. If you're interested on the inside install, we have another video that kind of goes through the system of what we did on the inside of the home and actually how we, we plumbed everything up. So check that out. Thanks for watching.